Well, you can tell the chimpanzees and boa constrictors to make way. There's a new exotic pet in town. It's no secret that Americans share a roof with unusual animals. And tonight, we explore the fine line between wild and tame. Is it possible to breed the savage out of the beast? ABC's Kirit Bradia discovers what it takes to bring home a fox. Yeah, yes. Meet Aphonia the fox. He loves belly rubs, playing, and amazingly, people. A normal fox would bite me, but Aphonia is one of the world's yeah. first and only domesticated foxes. Soon, he and others like him will travel from this snowy farm in Siberia to a new life with American families as pets. They're the product of an incredible Soviet experiment. To see these animals for ourselves, we travel to the Russian city of Novosibirsk with exotic animal importer Mitchell Kalmanson and veterinarian Renee Baker. Ah, oh, look at this one. Georgian white, isn't it? Yep. They brought the first domesticated foxes to the U.S. last year, and they're returning to pick up more. Hi, how are you? Gonna go for a little trip to the U.S.? They're selling for about $8,000. And if you've got that, just remember, these animals love to dig. Well, they're just like a dog. It's uh, quite fascinating. Uh, we're able to uh, train them to sit, stay. They fetch the balls, they'll play chase with you. What should somebody know if they want to buy a fox? What should they know about it before? Well, they're great pets. The animal needs a, a place to run. The animal needs to be walked. Slide it over his head. But it needs to be trained. These animals are calm, they're domesticated, but they don't know. It's just natural behaviors. They're being not socialized. Reinforced. They haven't been socialized, that's right. That's because they've spent their entire life in a cage. While these foxes like to be with people, they don't really know how. Still, it's easy to forget that not too long ago, this was a wild animal. Look how pretty. You're so soft. It all began when Soviet scientists wanted to study how wolves turned into dogs. They tried to replicate that evolution with foxes. They selected only the least aggressive foxes for mating. And after just a few generations, they observed something incredible. These natural hunters became less fearful of humans. Eventually, they began to show affection. These animals are not trained. They're now genetically tame. Their appearance has changed too. Their legs are shorter, and some even wag their tails. You can fall asleep on the couch watching TV with a fox next to you. It won't hurt you. On this trip, they're transporting two foxes. They're placed in specially designed cages with water and food trays for the long plane ride. Domestic fox. At the airport, they draw some curious Sasha. looks. Pretty soon, they're the center of attention. In a country where a fox is more likely to be a coat than a pet, nobody seems to know what they are. All righty, there you go. Finally, after lots of paperwork and a final check from the vets, they're on their way, headed to a home near you. Thank you. This fox named Arcy has been with his owners for a few months. He's living the life in Florida, lazy afternoons on the porch and walks on the beach in the evening, a long way away from that frozen farm in Siberia. For Nightline, Kirit Radia, ABC News, Novosibirsk, Russia.